Hey, fitness fanatics, ever get that feeling like you're working hard but not really seeing the results? Trust me, we've all been there. Today, we're going under the hood of two seriously popular health trackers, the minimalist Ringcon and the athlete-focused Whoop. I'm going to be your guinea pig and break down which one might just change your game. Let's start with the basics. Ringcon, launched in 2023, is all about that ring life, discreet and surprisingly powerful for its size. The Whoop has been around a bit longer, and it's known for getting serious with body data. Think the kind of analysis pro athletes use. Okay, I've lived in both these things for over a year. Marathons, weightlifting, late night deadlines, you name it, they've seen it all. Links to my full reviews are down below so you can get nitty gritty, but let's dive into what really matters for you. Okay, they both handle the essentials, sleep, activity, all that jazz, but how they use that data is where things get interesting. Rincon keeps it simple. Are you generally hitting your goals? Fantastic. Interested in your step count? No problem. Whoop, on the other hand, is like having a microscope on your body. Daily strain scores, heart rate variability trends. It's about pushing yourself safely and knowing when to throttle back. Let's talk comfort, because Rincon wins here, hands down. It practically disappears on your finger, which is huge if, like me, you fidget with bulky stuff. Plus, if you just want an overall health picture without obsessing over numbers, this delivers. But here's where Whoop flips the script. Ever have those days you think you're ready to crush it, but your body disagrees? Whoop catches that before you do? It even has that journal thing, so I could see how late night pizza murders my recovery score. Kinda changed my habits, and not gonna lie, I even noticed how weekend lions improved my heart rate variability, showing that rest is actually workout fuel. Whoop made me respect that. Gotta talk money, right? Ringcon is a one time buy, a perk for sure. Whoop's got that monthly subscription. Is the deep analysis worth that ongoing cost? That's the big question. Roughly, a year of Whoop equals the total cost of Rincon. Bottom line, if you want easy health insights and a tracker you forget you have, Rincon's awesome. But if you're chasing performance, if you want your body working for you and not against you, Whoop's data is borderline addictive. It becomes this game to improve your numbers, get into that optimal recovery zone. Yeah, total fitness nerd territory here. Now, let's get real. Ringcon's simplicity is its power, but there were days I felt it left me in the dark. Like, I knew a super tough gym session wrecked me, but Ringcon wasn't screaming that. Whoop catches that sort of thing. On the flip side, Whoop can be overwhelming. Sometimes you just want to move without analyzing everything, you know? Ringcon lets you do that. But then I miss Whoop's coaching. Like having a tiny trainer on your wrist. Annoying, but secretly good for you. In a perfect world, I'd use both, honestly. And I do. Casual days, Ringcon lets me chill. Big training blocks, Whoop gets me dialed in. But wallets don't always agree. Let me know which one you're leaning toward. Comfort or crazy data. Remember, it's your fitness journey. These are just the tools to level up. <laughs>